Isn't he adorable? Oh, I've got one for you, too. What? <laughs> Bummer. DreamWorks, the boss baby. Can Ted and Tim save the day again? In the boss. Baby 2, family business. Ted and Tim are back, but now they're all grown up. The new movie shows them going on an exciting spy adventure to save their parents. Along the way, they work to fix their bond as brothers. What can we expect for the plot the upcoming movie? Over the years, the brothers have grown apart, and Tim is dealing with the same thing with his daughter growing up. The movie shows us that even when you get older, you don't have to drift away from the people you care about. Let me break down the story for you. Tim Templeton, who stays home taking care of his seven-year-old daughter Tabitha and baby Tina while his wife Carol goes to work. Meanwhile, his boss's baby brother Ted is now a big boss himself running his own company called Ted Templeton Financial. Tim's life is going great until he notices that his daughter is drifting away from him. He shares this feeling with his brother Ted, who doesn't talk to him much. It seems like Tim's daughter Tabitha is heading down the same path. Just when Tim is trying to figure things out, Baby Corp shakes up his life once more. This time, his baby Tina becomes a baby boss, carrying on the family business. Remember in the first movie, it was Tim's brother Ted who became the baby boss? Tina tells Tim about a top secret mission and asks him to get in touch with his uncle Ted right away. Tim feels a bit awkward about calling his younger brother, and so at the crisis center, Tina tells the siblings all about the Acorn Center for Advanced Childhood, which is run by Dr. Erwin Armstrong. Erwin is making babies grow up faster and pushing them too hard, taking away their fun childhood. Tina believes in the saying, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So she wants Tim and Ted to become babies again and go undercover at the school to uncover Erwin's true intentions. Turns out, Dr. Erwin Armstrong was a baby all along, hiding inside a mechanical suit to look like an adult. He didn't like adults telling kids what to do, so he wanted to get rid of parents and start a baby revolution, which he called B-Day. Armstrong had the babies at his daycare make an app called QT Snap to help with his sneaky plans. This app sent out rays that hypnotized parents and made them like zombies who could be controlled. At first, Baby Corp just wanted details about Armstrong's plan. But Tina fibbed to them because she believed that the spying mission was helping to bring Tim and Ted closer together. So, she made the Baby Corp task into a family affair, a journey to fix Tim and Ted's relationship. During the holiday pageant, Armstrong put the parents under hypnosis. But Tina and Tabitha foiled his plan by causing a soda explosion in his server room with some Mentos candies. QT Snap didn't take off worldwide, and Armstrong's plans got messed up by the soda spill. The parents who were hypnotized snapped out of it, and grown-up Tim and Ted saved the world from a global parent meltdown. The two brothers hugged and owned up to their errors. Ted, who was always busy with work, admitted that even though he made tons of money, he felt lonely at the top. Tim realized that as a dad, he was always focused on what he wanted, not what Tabitha needed. He saw the same pattern in his relationship with Ted. In the movie, the two siblings realize that growing up doesn't mean you have to drift apart. This idea sinks in for them, making them better adults, dads, and brothers. On Christmas Eve, Ted made time in his busy schedule to visit Tim and his family. Tina missed her baby corp call, but her mom Carol picked it up, figuring out the family secret. This conflict will be explored more in the sequel, The Boss Baby 3, with new adventures and fun times ahead. The movie ended happily as Erwin Armstrong went back to his parents' home, where they welcomed him with love and warmth. Childhood doesn't last forever, but family sure does. The Boss Baby 2 Family Business is a 2021 animated adventure film directed by Tom McGrath. It is the second movie in the Boss Baby series. The Templeton brothers are now adults and have grown apart. But a new boss baby with fresh ideas is about to bring them back together and start a new family business, now showing in cinemas. One of the lines at the start of this movie says, being a dad is one of the coolest jobs in the world. As a dad, you get to play with Lego, pretend Santa Claus is real, and watch lots of great animated movies. But sometimes you might have to sit through movies like this one too. We never really understood why people liked the first movie either, aside from maybe the catchy title, but at least it had some cute moments and a wild plot about baby spies fighting puppies because they were too cute and might replace them. 
as crazy as it was, it was kind of a nice way to show a kid's fear of losing their parents' love. The first Boss Baby made over half a billion dollars worldwide when it came out, got nominated for an Oscar, and even got its TV series on Netflix, which is now in its fourth season. And now, four years later, we have the obligatory cash grab sequel. It just follows the same formula as the first one, doesn't have any deeper meanings, and just goes from one unfunny, loud, and chaotic scene to the next, trying to pass as a coherent story. There is some talent working on this movie, with some good music, a few imaginative visuals, and a great voice cast. But not even Alec Baldwin, James Marsden, or Jeff Goldblum can rescue what's ultimately a big mess. It started okay, with a pretty decent beginning that seemed to tap into those universal feelings we all have about parents watching their kids grow up. But then, out of nowhere, the movie ditched any attempt at being like a Pixar film and went in a completely different direction. It became really hard to follow and gave us a serious headache. It started pretty well, but then it seemed like the filmmakers were told to never keep a shot on screen for more than three seconds, make the sound super loud, and always have lots of stuff happening at once on the screen. We guess they were worried that young kids might get bored otherwise. The result is like the crazy energy kids get after a birthday party. But way, way more! It's just wild, loud, silly, and doesn't have a point. My kid deserves better than this. And honestly, so do we. The Boss Baby the Third is the next movie in the series. It's an American animated film full of comedy, action, adventure, and fantasy. It's the sequel to The Boss Baby from 2017 and The Boss Baby Family Business from 2021. It's set to be released and shown for the first time on November 13th, 2026 in the United States of America. Ten and a half months after the defeat of Dr. Erwin Armstrong, the Baby Corp factory floor has been busy making babies for families worldwide. Theodore, Tim, and Tina, along with Tabitha and Carol, are on an ocean liner called the Transatlantic. They are the live team of Baby Corp Explorer Babies. Unfortunately, they are shipwrecked in the Pacific Islands. Theodore, Tim, Magnus, Tabitha, Tina, and the Baby Corp Explorer Babies hike through the rainforest, where Tina, Magnus, and Theodore discover a lake with a waterfall. Theodore, Tim, and Tina encounter an active volcanic eruption in the jungle. Later, Theodore and Tina find some Baby Corp airships to escape the dormant volcano and head to an island. They eventually return home to the Templeton household. The new movie, The Boss Baby the Third 2026, takes place in their new home in San Francisco, California, United States of America. Would you like to give this movie another watch? So, are you excited for the new movie like us? Do let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, see you all!